Yeah, it looks like maybe not. So I'm going to go ahead and add a folder. See how it comes up? Now it's trying to wake up again. Now normally, what it'll do is when it wakes up now, it's going to go into the mode of running the system. But I'm not even going to let that happen in this video. You're going to have to set a server up and let it work. But I'm showing you just how to install it and set it up for the first time. And I'm going to let it run, but it won't be running for real. But I want to make it so I can size the screen, okay? Because the sizing of the screen happens at every location individually. And when it, so when it first fires up, it's going to try to run. Okay, so you see it come up. Notice it's going to be offset. It won't find a way to update its, its uh, screen because I don't have it set to the server. So this is probably going to sit there for a while. Oh, I guess I did have an Arvin set up, so it's actually going to try to run. All right. So now, let me go ahead and set the screen up. Now, right now, when it's running like that, it's actually running for real. Notice how the words are too low, and that's not far enough, because this is a different screen. I don't know how this screen is set up. So there's a special little trick you do on the keyboard. It's still actually downloading ads. It's downloading the ads that go over here now. And once it gets going, we'll wait until it's running again. And that's scrolling by for the second time that it's actually running. The system's actually processed. So now, what we're going to do on the keyboard is press the plus key, okay? And to get to the plus, you have to have a shift and you hit plus. Notice the screen moved for a second. So now what we want to do is hold in the plus key until that screen up there stretches to fill the screen. And it takes a few seconds. It could be a minute or two, depending on how big your screen is. Uh, and, it's, and it's based on resolution, so it's going to default to 1024 by 768. So depending on whatever the resolution of the screen that you set under Windows is, that's what's going to allow you to have to stretch it or whatever. If you can set your, your uh, Windows mode to 1024 by 768, then it will be automatically set up perfectly. The reason why I use that lower screen limit is because it makes the pixels bigger and it makes your graphics much brighter. Okay, So I'm still looking here. It's still got a ways to go. I'm going to let it go for a minute, and then it, it can go and get another ad that might be white. There we go. I'm keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Now, this is a tire location, a tire service center that we're actually showing. This is actually their board. I'm just mirroring it right now. I'm almost to the end. And when we get right close to the end, we stop. Then we can hit the minus key if we want to back up a little bit, which it looks like I had to. Now, notice it's too far down. So I'm going to hit the U key for up. And it's just hitting U without a shift. Until I get to about right there. Now, there's a special little trick. If I hit the H key, there's going to be some words that show up, but I don't see them, so I must not be up far enough. Hit H again. See the little words starting to show up? Let me go up some more. All right, so now, see those words are right at the tip. So now if I hit H, that right there helps you identify what's in the machine for like service capability or if you have some kind of error checking. It tells you what server you're connected to, what version of software, when it's going to go and update again for the next billboard. Um, hit it again. Um, what file it's actually looking at, um, which is right here. Um, let's see here whether the system is active, and it is, the actual size that's used um, for the billboards. Now, it won't be right until it reboots for the second time, so this is not currently correct. And if the D drive, which is an external drive, if that's active, and it's not, it's false. When it's D drive, that would say true. So now it's like this. It looks like it's perfect, so we're going to hold the Shift key and hit S for saving. See the window pops up? We're going to say OK. And then, if we hit any key, I think even a space bar will get us out. We can run it again. And this time, I'm going to run the mini billboard start, which will update the system to the newest version of the software. All right. Let that run for 30 seconds or whatever it takes. Because right now, it's going to get a new version of itself to bring it up to date, even after you've just installed it. 
and wait for a second you'll see this all of a sudden say see updating ad server now it has the new version notice that looks different now and watch notice it doesn't see itself yet for what the sizing is but it'll notice it in a minute because it takes that file locally boom see corrected itself now it looks pretty good and it's actually ready to run and that's it now you're in business now from now on it'll wake up and run each time and we can test that by doing this let's just turn it off shut the machine off all right this would be like for the next morning or whatever I normally leave these running and just turn the TV off but let the system run because it has a fan in it and all this stuff is designed to run all right so once this blue light goes off which it is I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on I don't need the keyboard anymore so you can just now put it away and just turn the power back on and that's on right here get the power and then sit back and wait see what happens it's pretty simple Now it's wake, it woke up. Now instead of it running the mini billboard start, it's going to run the current version of the billboard system in the system right now. Only you only have to run that, that mini billboard start if you want to force an update. In, in uh, future versions of the software, I'm going to make it so it forces its own update. See, it's firing up by itself. It's going to fix its sizing. There it is. That little G stands for good. Everything's good. If it was an I, that means the internet's something's wrong with the internet. I only do that so that when it's out in the field, people don't see errors. They, you would be the only one that know what that is, and it would still run like normal, but it, but it's not working. You know, it's going to run the ads that are local. It won't be getting any updates. All right. So. Since it didn't see any updates, you notice it's not downloading any more ads because I already checked the server to see if it's the same as what's on the server in here. And if it's the same, then it doesn't do any updates. So it'll just sit there and run what's, what's current. If I go and change some things in here, then an hour from now or when that time times out, it'll go and make the differences and change, whether it be video uh, or anything. Now, there's also software that you put on your desktop that can control other things like the words that are here whether it's two screens or just a full screen, um, whether there's music playing here or not, because it can play music while it's doing this. Then when a video comes up, it turns the music off and then plays whatever, and when that goes off, it turns the music back on for like ambient music. And you can use Shoutcast for that music, which means you can get any kind of genre of music for free. Um, real good for ambient music, like at a restaurant or whatever, you can have this tied to the system, you know. Um, what else? Um, you can also, from the desktop software, which is called Desktop Control Panel, it will allow you to go live with a video without bothering this. So let's say you want to do a live video, you want to go live with YouTube or something like that. You can go here, you, put, you can create your YouTube channel, set up a camera or whatever, get the URL for YouTube Live, go to Desktop Control Panel, pick your display out in the field, your, your remote servers, put it in and say go live. And within 30 seconds, the system will go live. Okay? And that's basically about it. So it's going to rotate these ads that it has uh, in the system until doomsday or until you change it. Um, I might be able to find that system up here. Let's see where it is. Um, I have no idea where it is, actually. Might take me a minute to figure it out. Oh, here it is, right here. All right, so I already click in there. That's this system right here. So I went into the digital indoor advertising, and this part right here, you can see it on the screen, is the is this area of the screen, and then this one that's, you know, vertical, is that part of the screen. So it's like two buckets, and if I were to click in that bucket, then I can change the ads that are inside there, which are here. And you'll see the icon representations of those ads. If I go back, 
and I can click on this side, and you'll have many of these if you have multiple ad servers. So then you can see the ads that are running over here. These are GIF files, these are JPEG files, and they're that way by design. Lowercase JPEG, lowercase GIF. Those, that version of, of uh, JPEGs don't include coding, so a hacker can't get into your system. Okay? And that's about it. So this one's ready to rock and roll. You see it's running well. The time is right. Everything looks like it's up and running. So that's how you set up one from the beginning if you have to do it yourself. And that last part, if I give it to you already set up, then you're going to have to set it up and hook up to the internet with a keyboard, set up the wireless component, size it, and save it. From that point on, it'll remember, and then you can go on to your next machine. Now, if you go and change your screen, it might change. So you might have to set up the sizing again. You know, like get a bigger screen or a smaller screen, because it has to match itself with what Windows has set up. Okay? I used to have another way to set that up, but this is the perfect way. Because you'll have perfect setting, and it doesn't matter what your screen size is. All right. Till next time. I will see you later.